All right, verdicts. What are we saying? Me, what are you telling me? <laughs> Both. All right, you first. Okay, good. Because I didn't want to hear his bad. Re his, I didn't want to hear his bad reaction. My man was okay. like <laughs> the whole concert. <laughs> but I can't lie. It wasn't one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Okay, explain uh, why. Why is that? For one, I don't love all of their songs. Oh, oh, sugar. I, I don't almost... love all of their songs. Oh, really? I can't okay. listen to them. It, re it reminded me how I don't listen to, to like, them always at, like, one after the other, all their songs, because they get a bit. Same groove, same lips, same lines. I hear that. But the one thing about it mm -hmm. that you can't fault is like the sick musicians. Hundred, hundred, hundred. So, what's your take? on um, the Dirty Loops. The problem is I like these guys. Okay. These people. All right. They look cool. They look fun. Mm. The issue is the operation is not being operated at a level that they should be at their level. Mm. As in, there we're talking a, about everything else around him. Everything else. Like, like, around the music him, is I great. Mm. The music is great. Mm. Standalone. If you go on Spotify and listen to music, you'll be very impressed. All right. But when you come to a show, it's a, it's a completely different ball game. And uh, yeah. I've done about uh, 60 shows. Maybe around 60 shows. 60 shows this year. Mm -hmm. With a band that I would say is doing venues of that size and bigger. Right. So I've seen how crowds react when they're performing. And that was that wasn't that wasn't really good. For a band that's been around for ten plus years. That's been doing it, doing live shows, that was that was shocking. For, for perfect, real? That was shocking. Okay, tell me what was letting them down. Um the pacing. Okay, pacing of the pacing music, of the, songs, of the songs themselves. The songs, yeah. Positioning where you, put them, where they're putting the songs, how long the set was. There was one or two fillers in there, and when he went to the country song. Mm. Just randomly, it, was just, it just took you out of it. There was really, there wasn't really much direction on what emotion they were trying to evoke. From, were, for, for me, it felt confused. Just for me personally, I'm not get, trying to get too deep, but I didn't feel like there was a constant flow of what I'm meant to be feeling at any particular time, musically. Okay. That's me personally. Mm. The issue is people think because they can play, they can perform, they're two different things. Yeah. Playing and performing are different. You don't need to be a good player to perform. Mm. I think what they're leaning on is the fact that people know their material and people like the fact that they're great musicians. That's what they're leaning on the most. Mm. Mm. But mm. They're, not, they're not actually trying to execute in terms of performance. They're not. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, okay, what about the lead singer? I mean, the lead, lead singer was very active, you know, very... He was restricted, and you could tell. But every time he came back from his keyboard... Mm -hmm. First, let's not, even, let's not even go down that thread. Let's go down the thread of... Vocally, who does he sound like? Who does he get compared to a lot? Um, probably like Stevie Wonder or something like that. Jackson, a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. so how are you telling me? You sound like MJ. He's even doing a little, you know, and he's oh, yeah, kind, of, yeah. he's kind of holding it back. Like, Dude, for me, it's like just old. Oh, I can feel that energy coming across to me. Like, if you want to dance, dance. But I can feel it, like, a bit conscious about, you know, doing a little. You know, do a little. I mean, he did. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. He did a little. Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel. Let it go. So, I, I was getting that energy. I wasn't getting the energy that he was confident to dance or to like just let go and let loose. It was all restricted. So I was picking up on that. But again, well, I'm. Experiences, but you know, it's different for me. This is my personal opinion on it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the technical difficulties just was just ridiculous. It was ridiculous at one point. Mm -hmm. For the next show, we're gonna remember to uh, put batteries and stuff. So I'm gonna need batteries for this night. So it's too kind of traumatic. Like everything has died. It's all our fault. We suck. It's like, I've, again, I've done 60 shows. 
that yeah, something like that happening on stage happens every now and again mm. it will happen once or twice mm. in the show it mm. wouldn't happen as many times that was happening they didn't have they didn't have their own crew no, I, I, they didn't bring their own crew because when these things were happening the, the house tech guys were not on stage they didn't know what was going on and they couldn't get on stage quick enough it got to the point where the front of house guy had to come out from his booth, go all the way around, go to the stage, change the, the, the batteries, go all the way back, go all the way back round, back to his desk and do the gig. It's like, you should have a, a, a guy side of the stage. Where's the manager? Where's the, like, someone should be side of the stage be able to help out with some of these um, technical difficulties. Mm. So that for me just really highlighted the fact that this isn't a smooth operation. Number two, mm. I don't think that house that, that sound engineer is even their guy. I don't think that sound engineer is their guy because I'm watching him. My mm. man at the end, but he, he's look, literally looking at his phone. Like, when is this going to end? Not only that, he, when the crowd, were, the crowd were bucking it, the crowd were giving it crazy. Mm. My man was literally just like. Who, the sound guy? Yeah, no interest in the music, which tells me he's not, he's not really, he ain't really trying to balance it or mix that thing up. He's just literally just standing there just like that. It's impossible if you're invested in your tour of a band just to be standing there just bumping. So, there was a lot of things that I was just picking up and that was just bothering me before it even got started, you know.